everyone, welcome to this beginner's guide to Webflow, the all-in-one web design tool that lets you build responsive websites visually. If you're new to Webflow or web design in general, you're in the right place. Let's get started. First, head over to webflow.com and sign up for a free account. Once you're logged in, click on dashboard and then new site. Here you can choose to start from a template or choose a blank site to start from scratch. In the Webflow Designer, you'll see your canvas here in the middle, the Elements panel here on the left, and the Style panel here on the right. The Elements panel is where you'll find all the building blocks like Section, Container, and then if you scroll down, you also find Headings and Paragraph and Text, and also Images. And if you scroll even more down, you find even more uh, forms and advance. Let's start by adding a section. So we go and we drag this. Let's put it here. There we go. And inside the section, we're going to add a container to keep your content uh, centered and responsive. So click here and let's drag this container here. There we go. Awesome. Let's add a heading. Let's scroll down. There we go. Let's add a heading here. All right, and we can put a text in. Uh, this is my first Webflow site. Here we go. And then we can also add a paragraph. Let's go scroll down and we're gonna add a paragraph as well. There we go, awesome. All right, so now let's style our elements. Click on the heading, there we go, and go to the style panel and change the font. Let's use this one, all right. And also you can change uh, the size and the color to match your vision. And you can do the same with the paragraph text as well. And if you want to add an image, simply go to add elements, scroll down and drag an image and drop it there. You can replace the image with just something already pre-installed, or you can also upload uh, whatever image that you would want or you'd like. All right, to make your site responsive, switch between desktop, uh, tablet, and even mobile views at the top of the designer here and adjust styles as needed for each device. And once you're happy with your design, you can go ahead and click publish at the top right to make your site live on a Webflow subdomain, or you can also connect a custom domain if you have one. Yep, yeah, and that's it. You've just created your first website in Webflow. Don't forget to subscribe for more web design tutorials and check out the link in the description to start your free Webflow journey today.